One of my most absolutely anticipated cards of the month in Scorn is finally here. And you know what, guys? Honestly, I come away super impressed with this card. It's been so good. It's been so good. It's everything that I was hoping it was going to be. Obviously, super niche. Super niche. But just incredible at what it's doing in discard right now. Uh, Meek, officially power crept. It makes no sense right now. I was even trying to play Meek in it prior. And I'll show you guys some decks. But right off the rip here... Scorn is super strong in discard, and uh, where else is going to be strong, I guess. Really come away pressed. Now, the spotlight cash, awful, right? You do have Jean Grey and uh, Sebastian Shaw. Jean Grey, complete garbage. Sebastian Shaw, playable exclusively in Surfer decks for the most part. Um, with Scorn, however, this is one of those cards that if you have those two others, you're probably going to want to use tokens for, but I would still caution towards waiting towards the end of the week. The reason for this is because tokens are costly right you're gonna spend six thousand tokens on scorn so it's one of those situations where like if you're a discard player then i think this is an absolutely awesome card to add to your collection is this going to change your mind on discard i don't necessarily think so uh it feels like it's it's going in traditional discard in a way where it's like it's not revolutionizing the way discards being played a good example of this is something like a black knight black knight completely modified the way discard was played and if you want to play a Black Knight style discard deck, you need a Black Knight. If you don't have Scorn, for the most part, you just keep using Swarm. You know what I mean? However, it is most certainly a massive increase in power. A massive increase in power. I came away impressed with my testing. We absolutely crushed in post-infinite gameplay here with both decks we played. We, I mean, Chad would know. We are live recording this on Twitch TV and we absolutely crushed today. Crushed today. Um, so really coming away impressed with Scorn. Definitely improves discard a lot. And uh, I guess it's going to be up to you to decide whether or not uh, you feel that it's enough for you to invest those tokens. I'm not rolling keys this week, but I do think Scorn is absolutely fantastic. Let's talk some decks here as we flip the screens. With regards to decks, we have uh, Scorvus Glaive, <laughs> right? Scorvus Glaive. And what Scorvus Glaive is, is basically a deck that revolves around using Corvus Glaive alongside the traditional discard style archetype to give Scorn an opportunity to kind of provide some value, but still have that core discard, discard style gameplay that you come to expect. It's nothing fancy here. Now, we started with Dokken instead of Strong Guy. Dokken felt like it was underperforming quite significantly. Uh, discarding the um, the Shard was okay, but in this particular deck, you want to focus on discarding Scorn or Apocalypse or Proxima, and hitting the Shard didn't always feel good. Strong Guy felt very consistently overpowered because what happened was, is I, won't, I don't want to say the word overpowered because obviously Strong Guy is not OP, but what I mean is you were getting his effect almost every single game where you were getting your ultimate combo and not retreating. If you were going into the Apocalypse and the Scorns and stuff like that, Strong Guy was fine. The problem was with Strong Guy, it's very important to note that it allows you to have one card still in your hand. But that does mean you have to play at least Scorn and Modoc on turn 6. You can't have both Scorn and Apocalypse in your hand at the end of turn 6. That's the one consideration worth noting. My experience with this deck was positive. If you're looking to play the Scorn in a much, much more traditional discard style deck, this is the one you definitely could try. It performed very well for me. Will there be modifications on this deck? I'm sure. I think that this is a very obvious approach to building Scorn, and I'm sure that over time we'll come up with the, the statistical best variation of this exact deck. It may not include st uh, Strong Guy. It might inc include Strong Guy. It will not include Dokken, though. I know that for sure. Now, with regards to the deck that I had the most fun with, Scorn Pew Pew. Now, we did a bunch of different versions of this deck, and in the gameplay highlights, you're going to see them. We had some that didn't have crystal, some obviously that do have crystal. We made some changes with regards to whether or not we ran Apocalypse and Dracula. We had different versions of this. Original deck had Wave in it to sneak out the Onslaught early by turn 4. It also gave us the opportunity to reach into our deck with the likes of Iron Lad if we don't draw the Gambit. The only risky thing with this deck, which was a little tricky to navigate, was the idea that if you have Scorn in your deck... Right, you got to rely on the Apocalypse hit in order to keep your Gambit engine going. And unfortunately, Iron Lad won't correct that because Iron Lad's on the field of play when it copies Scorn and therefore is never discarded. And so that's why you have Apocalypse as the backup plan. Crystal and Magic essentially allow you to kind of get through your deck a little more consistently. And of course, your Iron Lad is that reach for the Gambit and for uh, an on reveal. Like, for instance, let's say uh, Wong is left in that deck. You can reach in, grab the Wong with Iron Lad, 
and then of course play the gambit on top i really like this deck a lot now one thing i will mention for players who are new to this particular style deck you typically typically get more power and performance out of the exponential increase of playing onslaught and then mystique gambit as opposed to playing wong and mystique uh, wong and mystique is going to be like a linear kind of improvement whereas onslaught mystique is an exponential improvement and so you get a little more power out of copying the onslaught with mystique as opposed to copying the wong with mystique okay hope that makes sense but regardless my takeaway here is that uh, i think that scorn's awesome i really like this card a lot i've been always a discard believer though i've always liked discard and what scorn is doing is definitely improving the archetype providing this traditional archetype uh, sorry the traditional discard shell with a major boost in power um, its power lines are incredible uh, if you have something like a morbius on the field of play and you discard it with a calling wing like it's literally six power because morbius gets plus two scorn gets plus two and then it throws plus two onto the field of play massive power increase for this archetype as a whole it makes me wonder why meek even exists at this point Early testing with Meek made it seem irrelevant. Like, it was not worth running Meek when you had Scorn. Regardless, guys, I want to say thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, you're going to be seeing some amazing uh, gameplay highlights that we recorded live on Twitch TV. Join us on Twitch if you have not already. Scorn's a good one, and I hope you enjoy these gameplay highlights. Let's go Meek again out here. When was the last time you saw some Meek gameplay? Hope you guys are excited. Hope you guys are ready. Uh oh, that's not a big deal for us. Let's do collector here. Go Morbius. All right, this isn't the worst so far. We're not going to be able to wave out the uh, the onslaught, which is a little sad. But if we get magic, we got options. We got the Wong Mystique here. We got Gambit. We got. We almost have it. We almost have the combo. Very Sage. Red Guardian being teched into so much stuff, unfortunately. Oh man. Half the magic. We onslaught Mystique Gambit. But we need to top deck Scorn. Because we don't have APOC in this deck or anything. It's all dependent on Scorn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're playing Toxic. Where's my Scorn? Scorn, please? 33.33 repeating, of course. Chance to draw Scorn. Come on, Scorn! Yes! Onslaught, Mystique? Do we have it? I'm not gonna snap. I don't wanna give it away. Now, we, we don't have initiative. They might have Cosmo. We're doing it, guys. Oh my god. We are still minus points, but we're gonna buff each other up here. There's Scorn. Fast forward. Behold thy mighty hand. Victory. That's what I'm talking about. So they're snapping on us, but we do have some pretty good lines here. Uh, Cause we can do calling wing. No, no, Calling Wing, stick the landing into Scorn, maybe? Calling Wing, Scorn. Luke's Bar. Okay. That's why they're getting all randy. Apocalypse. Okay. Keep doing this.
Morbius loves Onslaught Citadel here. Look at this Shong look at Shonger's bait over here, eh? Absolute Shonger's bait. I'm going to play Scorn here. I'm going to just... Right now, I'm thinking... Because I think there's a line... Where... Because Scorn adds the plus two onto the board. Oh, my gosh. Proxima Midnight makes this game easy. You do this. I'm going to do this just in case. Proxima goes left. This gap shot. They won't have Shongers. They won't have Shongers. You won't need this anymore. This is eight cubes, by the way. Okay. You won't need this they have their own Proxima. That's what they were betting on. So I just win. I win tiebreaker. Apocalypse. Okay. I mean, that's a big, that's a big Dracula. My Dracula is also relatively large, I but I went on slot Citadel by landslide. Yeah. Okay. It's eight cubes. Victory. They were expecting me not to have Proxima. Nice. We got, look at this. We got Scorn and Blade. This is exciting. Also, this should confirm that Scorn will buff the card in play as it's played. Nice. You love to see it. Of course, natural. We got some uh, Erisham Loki gameplay. I know you guys love to see that. Everyone's dreams casually coming true here. Uh, we're going to go uh, Colleen Wing into the right side here. Great curve for us here. A lot of value being generated. Lots of value being generated. Bro. All right. I see you there. A little disappointing. A little upset. Not going to lie. Um, and there's nothing worth pew-pewing here, though. There's just nothing worth pew-pewing. We could shoot. We could shoot short, uh, Swordmaster. We can let her rip. Yeah, let's just set... Nowhere do we gambit. I, nothing's worth gambiting here. I'm going to throw the Swordmaster on to the left. It always hits Scorn. Let's go. All right, lol. Okay, that's, that's them drawing my cards now. I see. Spider Ham getting some love. Henry Riverbank coming in with the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, how can they snap? We're going to play the Dracula mid. I think turn five. I think we're going to be leaning towards the Gambit side. The chance of us hitting Modoc are kind of reduced. They get their Corvus. Okay. I'm not convinced that was a great play by them, by the way. Ooh. Dock and Modoc? Play Scorn now? Scorn Apoc can be roughly the same power, though. This goes to eight. Maybe. Okay, we're going to draw Morbius next turn. So Morbius Scorn next turn. Morbius Scorn. Ooh, can't gambit. Ah, oh, damn. I think what we do is we Modoc here. We Modoc right. They've snapped. I think we're good for four cubes here. They're playing Modoc as well. They have my Apocalypse. Okay. This very early Loki gameplay is paying dividends for them. Modoc's voice is kind of weird. I don't know if I am a huge fan of it, honestly. A little derpy. A little bit of a derp effect there. Uh, they don't have Morbius and Dracula. They have Apoc that they have to play down. This flips there. One card, two cards. We should be good. They can't beat us everywhere if we have Dracula. Oh, look, they top deck Morbius. Morbius. All right, so we might actually lose here. No, we don't. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, we're fine. <laughs> it's like for a second, I'm like, oh yeah, our, our Morbius is massive. That's correct. I should have just gone, gone eight there. Victory. Nice. 
You got a little bit of a Loki mirror match score in there. Loki player a little upset, doesn't want to fist bump back. It's fine. I understand you played my deck and lost. In terms of cards left this month, like, I think Scorn, it was the one I was looking forward to most. I don't know if I would say that, uh, like, I was excited for Toxin. I'm not much of a... I'm just not that much of a, uh, a gamer who enjoys balance, you know what I mean? Like, I respect balance, but I don't really like it, if that makes any sense. So I lean towards, if I had to pick one, I would take uh, I would take Scorn as my last card of the month I was really excited about. Of course, Agony being free, I'm hoping that's pretty cool. Oh, Toxin's going to be good, make no mistake. I think Toxin's going to be really good. In Bounce, though, um, obviously. But I, for me, I don't play Bounce that much. I'm just not that much of an archetype fan. I would rather have Scorn as a discard card. So with this gamer, apparently... Wow, that's a high roll if I've ever seen one. Hey, he doesn't get much better than that. Oh my gosh. These guys are gaming. Look at that turn. That is quite the turn. Wow, all right. Alrighty then. I go Morbius left to put some pressure on Baxter Builder. Man, we're not drawing. Where's Wongers, man? Proxima discard? I mean, they're playing very clean right now. I do respect it. We got Crystal gameplay. I mean, Iron Lad and Wong are the same thing, I guess, but it does not look like we're going to score line here. Okay. Oh, this sucks. Always hits Wong. Maybe? Possible winning line? Probably Adele. Let's see. Oh, damn. Hit magic. Okay, nice. Thanks. I called that one. Wong? Yes? Hope? There's hope? No scorn gameplay for us. I am okay. Born. That's the dub. We flip it. Wow. We just flipped that game. It took a little bit of luck there, Victory. but we got the dub. That looked like there was no way we were going to win, and we somehow high-rolled ourselves to victory. Oh, we got Shuri's Lab gameplay. You love that Shuri's Lab gameplay. Our deck doesn't really take advantage of it too well. But... Oh. Oh. I see. Well, we're going to have the Corvus here. Kind of hate this. We never hit Apoch, by the way. I'm not even going to play right. Like, I don't even care. Do they play two cards? I don't know, man. Yeah. Apoch? Yes. I am reborn. Ah, I would have liked Blade. Unfortunate gameplay. Well, they had their scorn. Zulorm, thank you for the six months. I looks like I'm getting my cheeks clapped here, though. Thy cheek, thy cheekiths get clappeth. I think is what uh, they say. I think that's how, that's how it goes. Uh, always hits Apoc. Never scammed. Uh, you know what? Do we just do this? Clearly, Swordmaster is gonna die, right? Swordmaster never survives, anyways. Alex, when is the OnlyFans dropping? Damn. Asking the real questions in chat right now. I wish I was man enough to start my own OnlyFans. I don't think you guys want to see that, honestly. 
If you're sitting there and shower right now thinking to yourself, you know what, I'd subscribe to an Alex OnlyFans. I promise you, you wouldn't. Um, there's, there might be some initial novelty at the idea of me launching an OnlyFans. But I assure you, you're not going to want to see that. I'm not saying that you would, like, immediately regret it or anything like that. But, like, if you saw and you saw, like, a couple pics, you'd be like, oh, I don't want to see this. Now, I would do, like, Costanza pics. You know, like, me topless on, like, a couch or something. OnlyFans, my Costco runs. My OnlyFans is just me going to Costco. Whoa, they went with the Cosmo. No way. You won't need this anymore. Crazy. They tried to hit me with the Cosmo Modoc here. All systems go. Bro, we I think we actually win here. Now they can flip Shuri's lab pretty good there. Oh snap. We just win because now we just APOC. Look at Scorn carrying mid, by the way. They can't beat us, right? They can't beat us. Do they beat us somehow? There's no way. How do they beat my Kim Yacinto? Apoc right. They got some magic. Uh, Drax, Scorn, that'll win. Do they beat me right though? Morb? Oh, wait. Takes the L. It was a good effort. Another eight cuber. Victory. Extremely casual eight cuber. I appreciate the fist bump there, 10K. Love you. That's it. Look at that. 20 power APOC was enough. Damn, is this some Sunspot gameplay? I've not seen this in a very long time. I'm actually shook. Actual Sunspot. Crazy. Legitimately insane gameplay. Gets even weirder. I like it. Pixie deck? I don't mind it. It's been a while since I've seen a good old Pixie deck. Pixie decks are actually pretty good too. That's what's crazy. Kind of underappreciated, I suppose. We have to play the Gambit now. <clears throat> Sorry, the Dracula now. I'm willing to Gambit here. Am I willing to Gambit? Yeah. Hmm. They get the free six drop. Wind Into the storm. Okay. Hand. Interesting. I do have a lot of reach here. Very low powered hit there. How can she snap? Uh, I think I lose, but let's try this. We are the future. Hell, can you understand me? Yo, what the hell was that play? Was that Infinite Cosmo Magneto? Bruh, come on. What the flip? That's legit insane. But hold on, let's do the math here. Plus six here, we go to 21. Discard two. We actually win here. Dracula pops. Doesn't win. Uh, Proxima goes left. There's a chance we actually trade here. Oh, they, they floated. Damn. Ah, the float's a good float. Yeah. Ah, I should have considered float. Yeah, good on him. Whoa, wait, I win! No way! Victory! I thought I lost! No way! I didn't even do the math! I assumed defeat!